What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Today I'm going to do a quick overview, kind of a review on the Rix Optics Leap L6. Uh, as you guys know, uh, might know, might not know, I've been reviewing this for Rix for the last three to four weeks. Uh, just want to give you guys a quick rundown and kind of give you my thoughts on it. Not going to go into every single detail. Uh, I'll link this scope down below so you guys can take a look at the specs. Uh, on the actual website, just kind of giving you guys my, my rundown of this optic. A standard 30 millimeter tube. One major thing that Rix has brought to the market with this optic is the optical zoom feature. Uh, as we're all familiar with on thermal, thermal optics, everything is a digital zoom where it kind of, you push a button and it kind of punches into the next two power, four power, eight power, so on. With this, it not only has the digital zoom here on the right control knob, but it has the optical zoom feature, which is right here, just like a regular daytime optic. Uh, this little lever right here pops up and down, keeps it out of the way so it doesn't get snapped off. But you can see how smooth that this is to zoom in the field. And it's just like a daytime optic. You'd be looking through the thermal, reach up, grab this, and then whatever you're keeping an eye on in the field, it just, you know, it just gets bigger and bigger. Optical zoom. Super awesome feature. Um, show you guys some clips of this throughout the video here, throughout the review. But just a, a really awesome, really easy to use and, and super smooth. Another thing that's a little bit different with this optic that I really like is it only actually has two buttons. You have a button on the top, which is your main power on and off button, and then a button on the side as well. Uh, that will control your picture and video, switching between the two, as well as a few other things once you get into the actual menu. Uh, but to turn on the menu, you would just simply rotate the left side of the uh, turret here, your actual windage turret, and then the right kind of controls some other features once you're in the uh, menu settings. Super easy to use, very intuitive. Um, like I say, only two buttons on the whole optic, just makes it really easy, user friendly. Uh, really good uh, scope cap here on the front. It folds back, gets out of the way, so you don't have to worry about snapping that off. Another big selling point of this is it does not use proprietary batteries. Uh, it uses the 18650 batteries. Really easy to get in and out, I'll show you here. Easiest thing to do is just tip that to the side. Little lever right here, push that down battery comes out 18650 swap it for your other one you're good to go I use this on one tournament night um, I wanted to see kind of how the batteries would do so what I did was in between sets in the truck I would just turn it into standby and I easily went the whole night with two batteries um, if I would have turned it off and on I don't know how much better the battery would have been um, but it comes with two batteries and I, I serviced the whole night 6 p.m. to say about 7 a.m. and uh, two batteries was plenty to get me through the whole night so that's really nice plus the 18650s are easy to find and uh, not not too expensive also you guys will see here in some of the clips that I'm going to show uh, it does have picture in picture which you guys know I'm a huge fan of through the pulsar optics and that is within the Rix optics as well love that feature of course it does have a built-in microphone microphone seems to be just fine uh, no concerns there. Has a USB port on the side for uh, additional charging and hooking it up to your laptop to download um, any video files, pictures that you have on there. The app, as far as retrieving your videos off of the scope to get it onto your phone, seems very easy. I haven't had any problems with it, no crashing or anything like that. So with this thermal optic, they have two versions, the L3 and this is the L6. The L6 is the 640 version, and then the L3 would be the 384. Another feature that the RIX has is uh, RIV, which is recoil activated video. So if you forget to reach up, hit your record button before you take a shot, uh, anything before the shot and after is recorded to a video file, which is really nice in, in case something comes out of the woods you know, quickly or comes up on here, you just completely forget to hit the video button. That's a nice function so you don't uh, miss out on any recorded video footage. This is also IP67 uh, rated waterproof. So you can get out in some rain, some drizzle, snow, and not have to worry about your components getting affected. All right, I'm out here in the front yard now. Just want to show you guys some of the optical zoom feature. 
take it for granted that it's about 89% humidity right now. Uh, it's actually just barely drizzling on me while I take this video. Anyway, this little barn here is about 80 yards. 80 to 90 yards. While editing this video, I noticed that the video did not pick up the optical zoom feature. This should be fixed in future firmware updates. It works perfectly fine from the naked eye looking through the scope, but for whatever reason, it does not download correctly into the video file. ...of the digital zoom. Still remains its clarity pretty well for how humid it is. Scroll through a little bit of the menu, I'm not going to go into anything, but just simply turn on the left turret. See how easy it is to get through all your options. over here. Cows probably 90-ish yards. Walk down the tripod here. Pretty awesome for the conditions we're in.
So all in all guys, this is a really awesome scope for its price point. So as of whenever this video was shot right now, um, late December, 2023, this is $37.99 for this, uh, this version here, which is super competitive in today's market. I am anxious and will say that I'm excited that there's some testers out there running through um, the new version of this that has the built-in uh, laser rangefinder. So I'm excited about that. Anxious to see how that performs. I know some guys are testing it right now and have, having some good luck. So anxious to see what comes out of that. But that will be the only thing as of right now that I would have to change on this is uh, really love those laser range finders. And this, this, uh, this optic is going to be hard to beat once you get a range finder on there. Not sure what that price point is going to be yet, but um, stay tuned and I'm sure they'll release something and, and let us know soon. All in all, just a great optic. Had a lot of fun with it these last three to four weeks and uh, looking forward to see what Rick's optics puts out in the future. And I think they're off to a heck of a start for this being their first version of their thermal scopes and uh, anxious to see what they come out with next. So any questions, comment down below and uh, happy hunting. Be safe. See you on the next one. Bye.